Hello again! It's time to unbox another uh, scroller box. Very cool, very fancy. As you know, the scroller box is an art subscription box all the way from the UK. And I ordered two boxes, so I got the uh, January one and the February one. So this is the February box. So I got this today, and I've been looking forward to opening this. Because uh, the last box, well, I didn't quite enjoy having markers. Overall, the experience of getting the box and opening it using them and everything that was all just a load of fun this is a really cool fun product to have so uh, i'm looking forward to having this one though this is my last scroller box i didn't i haven't subscribed for another box but i might in the future because i did have fun but i don't want to be getting a box every month she is she. anyway she. um this is a horse a horse as we call it here in ireland so you can go there good horse anyway so let's uh, open up this box. So, uh, rip, 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 rip. Okay, right. Let's open up this box. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, very nice, very fancy. Okay, so we got our. Uh, let's see. So we got our actual stuff in here. I'm gonna pop that here, and then we have the scrawler zine. And then we have our oh, this is the um, you do an art print every month with the box. So let's see, very nice colors. So I assume we're getting these sort of colors, which is right up my alley. Uh, Julian Raynaud, not I apologize if I've gotten that name wrong. Uh, Julian Raynaud is a 33 year old uh, painter originally. From um, Marseille, France. I apologize, I can't pronounce that word, but from France. He's known as a storyteller, fulfilling his art with my stories from centers around the world or impromptu people that he met. It's a love story. Uh, yada yada yada. Very lovely art. Okay, so we're just gonna very gently pop this over here. We're not gonna yeet it as we did with the last ones. Uh, this is our scholar box uh, zine. So, February 21st. So, ooh, we're getting paints. Ooh, looking forward to that. Let's see, so we're getting some paints. We're getting a magic pencil. Three colors in one pencil, no control, but the magic is unknown. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that to be honest with you, but we'll give that a go. Ooh, acrylic paint marker. Yes, I love acrylic paint markers. Ooh, ooh, this is ooh. I like I like I like this thus far. I like the sound of this. Oh, we're getting some acrylic paper. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so this is all about Julian here and his interview, which I'm not gonna go over because um, it bores me. Anyway, and uh, notes from the artist. If you wish to have colors that are as thick as possible, make a beautiful flat tint. Take dark colors and lighten it with white, which will make it more opaque. Okay, well that's good to know. So basically these are just a whole bunch of tips, which I probably should read, but I'm not going to. Um, oh, these are artwork from people who used... Which art books did they use in this one? This was the... So this is from what people were using in the December box back in 2020. So they did the uh, challenge. Um, cubist, cubist influence. Very cool, very nice. There's a page here that just says Brexit. <laughs> we all know that feeling. Ugh. Uh, probably I'll talk about all the things that they've had to go through, along with a lot of other bits, businesses have to deal with with Brexit and everything at the moment because it's changed like everything, like import tax, how things get where, and so on. It's a whole bunch of color blue that I don't quite understand but it still annoys me anyway uh, the elusive January box sticker has finally arrived oh so we're gonna get two stickers this month very nice there's a whole bunch of thing about cubism here which is probably what they kind of want our challenge to be this month but I'm not gonna do that I'm a free bird free she, spirit. She, I'm gonna she. draw what I like and we are going to gently put this over here we're not gonna eat it very respectful over here. Pat pat. Oh yes. Let's see now. 
uh, acrylic paper heavyweight. Okay, so this is gonna be, so the paint we're getting is acrylic, I assume, and, oh, this is really nice. Really nice paper. Oh, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera there, but there's a really nice texture to it. Oh, I'm gonna do enjoy this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, we're gonna pop this box out of the way. Yeet! We're all waiting for it. And we're gonna open this part. Okay, let's see now. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so here's our two stickers. So obviously this is the, this is the, uh, where's, where's my, where's my camera? Oh, uh, where's my camera? There it is. So this is the February sticker, which goes with this box. And this is the sticker we were supposed to get with the last box, the January box. But because of Delays and everything, it didn't arrive in time for the box to be sent though, so we had to go right out with it. Which is very cool, very nice. I'm going to very gently put these over here. Pat that. Okay, let's see now. So, February box, blah blah blah. Oh god, there's a bunch of words here. I am not going to be able to pronounce. Can we all see that? Can we all see that? Yeet. Um, Sensinler. Abstract matte soft body acrylic. That was a bunch of words I couldn't pronounce. Da -da -da, high quality fine acrylic paint. Packaged in a flexible pouch, so that's this stuff, which is kind of cool. Flexible airtight pouch can be friendly and resealable with a nozzle, which means paint stays wet and workable, so that everything goes to waste. Sounds very cool, very nice, I like that. These pigmented, pig, pigmented soft body acrylic come in unique pouch, so it's not only economical but doubles as a painting tool. Alright? Paint. Paint. Okay. Uh, Dally Rowney Simply Acrylic Paint Marker, which is this dude right here. Very cool. Very nice. I use Posca pens quite fairly often. I love working them, so I do love myself a lovely uh, paint marker. Very cool. I'm gonna pop that. Um, here, we're gonna put these paints up here. Uh, let's see, what else did they get us? Give us what else did they give us? Uh, the Co Coinor Heart Heart Mouth Mouth Magic Pencil. Hold on, let's give me let me give that another try. Let me give that another try. Heart Mouth Heart Mouth. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, magic pencil. Okay, so it's not really a magic pencil, but it's pretty close. Well, this magic pencil allows you to create the most colorful and unique artwork and sketches. Whenever you the rest and flick of the pencil, that unique mosaic leaves features brilliant swirls of bright color, which results in mind blowing and richly colored. Blah 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 blah. Is this is this pen? The pencil just has a load of lead in it, which can be really nice, but I think it's kind of a gimmick to be honest with you. But I'm going to use it, and we shall have fun with it. I'm gonna put that up there. Oh yes, a really nice paintbrush. I love myself a nice good paintbrush. Brushy, brushy. So let's see. Um, that is the Pro RT Skull Acryl brush. I kind of really wish there was words that I was actually able to um, read and pronounce. is made from a stiff and durable synthetic hair which makes it ideally suitable for acrylic painting. Okay, very cool, very cool. The hair is firm enough to handle paint straight from the pouch and also has excellent colour holding and pointing capabilities. Black and gold colouring also makes it for exceptionally, also makes it an exceptionally smart looking instrument. Aye, aye, aye. Very nice, very nice. And then the acrylic paper, which is 360 GSM and we get six sheets. Not a lot, still very cool. Uh, the quality and thickness of the paper makes a huge difference of creating a appreciated piece of work. The thick, high quality paper is down in for front for eyes. And features a, a linen like texture, so that's the really nice texture I was pushing over earlier. Ideal use for all acrylic colors and mediums. This paper is perfect surface for both practice and develop technique. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so what's our scroll? What's the scroll challenge that I probably won't do? Because, as I said, I am a uh, free bird, an independent Jeez. woman. Each box provides you a selection of art supplies. Uh, 
try oh okay it's not actually tell us what the challenge is it's just you can do the challenge oh okay so okay so the challenge is fractured figures all right yeet also sweets oh popping candy i love popping candy popping poppy sweets put you in your mouth and you go pop 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 very tasty very nice i will eat these later Shake you like my take tax. Anyway. Okay. So these are our instruments. Our instruments as they say. Those are paint. Eat. Stop saying eat. Mine is dead. Over here. Okay. That's our paper. So First off, we gotta figure out. No, no. What, what's the first thing we're gonna do? First thing we're gonna do is, um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. we're gonna use the paint and stuff and see what they look like on the paper. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Uh, there's a word. I can't remember the word is. It's there's much. a word that you use for when you. Swatch. Put figs on the paper to make them look Swatch. like what it looks like. Swatch. Well Swatch. done. Gonna Swatch all our shit. Our stuff. Language. It is English. Anyway. Okay, so this is our magic pencil. Okay. Shake, 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 huh? shake, 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 shake. It's cool. It's nice. We're getting like. We're getting nice colors in it. I don't know how much I enjoy having a pencil that I don't have complete control over of what's coming out. But like, I don't know, I guess you'd get to have like some nice, real nice, um, maybe some abstract art, some like collages, that sort of thing. But it does, it does feel a little gimmicky to me, these sort of type of pencils. But, you know, still cool. Nice stick pencil. Feels nice in the hand. Just has some nice colour in it. I'm going to pop you over there. And then we have our uh, paint marker. That I'm struggling to open right now. Come on, I'm going to use my teeth like a lady. There we go. Yeet. Yeet. There we go. So this is the acrylic paint marker. I do like myself. I know how to use a paint face, so you gotta shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. You are as old as that reference. And then, that's a really nice, um, let's see if I can get close up on it, but it's really nice seeing when you actually start pumping this part because you have to pump this for it so for all this to be filled with paint you get to see all the paint kind of drip down into it and change it all to its respective color so that's all going to turn black uh i really love that so i'm going to see if i can get a close-up of why when i i of that i'm going to see if i can get a close-up of that english do i speak it i don't know five minutes later I had thought I'd done it. Got a really nice close up of this thing filling up with paint. Was gonna look really cool. But it wasn't recording. <sighs> Life. Anyway, so we're gonna swatch this out. So, I really like what I really like about using these acrylic kind of paint markers is just how opaque and such an even color we can get. Especially when it's on surfaces that are really kind of design for a paint marker so we're getting really nice just really nice pure black uh looks to here so uh, really badly drawn dust bunny but it's very even very nice, very even uh, black paint marker. Right, and next we got our 
our paint. So this is titanium white. This is um car rouge um caridium red and uh, this one is indigo blue very nice very nice so uh let's give these a go hopefully i won't make an absolute mess of it but we'll give it give it some crack give it a lash so hopefully i don't need to open this with my teeth again nope that breaks off really easy that's pretty handy Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Leave it. Okay. Leave it. Right. So you are supposed to be able to just like pour these out and put them all over the place. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to make a huge mess. Not right now. So I am gonna try a brush. Ooh. I'll put this over the black paint, and it's running. No way. Alright, well, <laughs> let's try the white after I've used some other colours and let it dry a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> let's give this red a go. That breaks off pretty easy, which is handy. So, boop, boop, boop. It's pretty nice. The uh, like the the paper paper is absolutely designed for this paint. Like no questions asked. The when you layer it on top of it, it sinks down into the texture, and you can get a really even, really even coating. But you could also have a kind of quick strokes and let it dry and really utilize that really nice texture in the paper which can be really really nice okay let's try that blue the pigment in these paints it's gorgeous like that is a gorgeous look of red like no complaints here breaks off very easily sorry if i did that off camera so let's get some oh jesus oh Okay, there, I poured it, I poured it, I poured it, Skrullux Masters, I did it! Ah! Let's just put the light back on that before it, and there's a catastrophe. Boop! So, oh, it's so gloopy and nice, but oh, the pigment is so nice, this is such a gorgeous blue! Like, daily, day, diggly, dang! Really damn, look at that, it's so nice and it sinks into that texture so lovely. Oh, this, I, it's, like, I really like these paints. These paints are really nice, I have to say. Um, <laughs> this is, this whole page is an absolute mess now. Ugh, there's too much paint. Oh no, oh no, too much paint. Sorry, I'm just kind of entranced by the beauty of this blue. Face. Now, I'm going to let these dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to try that white on top and see how opaque that white is. So, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I am back. So, this is dried off and I'm going to try the white. I also went and got myself some water and some tissue paper to clean my brushy off. So, so I really got into acrylics um, in 2020. I did like a whole bunch of art and stuff for as Christmas presents. Weird acrylic paint, really got into it. I did an acrylic painting. Uh, this is a couple of days ago for my brother. He he's doing van stuff, so I did some custom art for him. So um, I have experience with critics. So we're going to figure out what it is we're going to draw with these supplies. Now I don't really know how I'm going to 
Like, I obviously with the paint and the paint markers, I know how I'm going to integrate those. Integrate? Integrate is not the word I'm looking for, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, I don't know how I'm really going to involve the pencil with the art. That said, I just had an idea. Ding, ding. Could be interesting, could be nothing, but we can give it a go. Okay, so um, let's put this aside and do our thumbnails. Thumbnails. Wow, we are a mess all up in here. All up in here. The black we serpent has a token. These paints aside. Gonna put it is this the end times. The moment, and then we're gonna take our pencil boop, boop, and we're gonna do some thumbnailing so uh the idea that i have kind of just in my head there was maybe using this pencil for figure because the challenge that they gave us maybe we'll try and use it as some inspiration is for those fragmented figures what does fragment frag I, th I vaguely know what fragmented means, but I couldn't give you a definition of it. That's how well my grasp of the English language is. But fragmented, I think, means uh, kind of in pieces. Fragmented, there we go. So the definition of fragmented is to break a cause or to break into fragments. So yeah, so basically it's kind of like in pieces. So maybe we can have this kind of like a figure in the middle that's done in the pencil and then all this can be our paints. It's an idea but it's kind of boring as all heck so I'm not going to do that. Um, hmm. Maybe our horse, horse can give us an idea. Come on horse. Give us an idea. Come on. Okay. I am That's exposed. No okay. Uh, maybe... So do a face, maybe. Kind of like... Very posy face in the middle. I don't know what that face is doing, just don't worry about it. Um, hmm. This ain't it, but I kind of like the idea. Hmm. Something to do with a face and then the hands. But like... Hmm. Where's our head? Is that still in frame? Not really, but we're trying our best. I cannot see the drawing. Move your hammy hand. You can attack my hands. This artist's worst nightmare. Oh no. Oh no. What we could do is we have a face in the middle, so like a hand. Because this space is kind of empty here, so I have kind of a hand coming out here, kind of covering that face a little bit. So the face is fragmented. Oh, following the theme. Ooh. But we kind of have the face here, and we right there. Like, oh no, I'm fragmented. Oh, so sad. Oh no. So what we could do is, is that the face in the middle can be done with the pencil. And then the background is a very is a solid color. Either the blue or the red. My first thought was with the blue, but we could do the background with the red. 
and then these hands can come in and they could be the very solid blue and then we can just use the white what am I using this black pen then though hmm Face and pencil. Could I just use it for outlining? That's always like that's always a possibility. But um, what are we outlining? Are we going to outline the hands? The hands could look nice as a very solid color and having no outline. But like we could have it outlined and have it kind of kind of bit. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that, but that's my cat outside uh, yelling at me. We could do the the liners could be kind of like kind of dotty like this, kind of very broken lines, or we could have it that the background is not a solid color, but we have the fits. Mother, Come I on. need attention. I'm doing stuff. That's my cat. And uh, we could have broken shattered frames here. We just put that back. My cat is going absolutely eight outside. Mother, mother, mother. Uh, right, I think I like this idea of the experiment more as I'm actually doing it, as is what I want and my style. And uh, just for the last video, I'm not going to talk while I draw because.
that's it. I've done the piece. Okay, so full disclosure, I don't really know how I feel about this. It's very moody. It's very much out of my style, my aesthetic, the things that I usually draw or are known for drawing. This is very kind of just out there. Did I have fun drawing this? Absolutely. It was freeing, it was loose. I just hopped into it and I just did it. Big globs of paint, just letting it be all sketchy, paintry, messy, and it was so much fun to draw. And the end result, I don't think it looks bad. It's just, I'm getting a bit of aesthetic whiplash, as you, if you will. I'll say one thing, I think that my secondary school art teacher would love this, but I think she might have also sent me to the school counsellor afterwards. <laughs> but look, what I'm saying is, this was really fun to draw. These art supplies, these art supplies were great. I had so much fun with these. They're so nice. They're such top quality. And you know what? I was talking shit about this pencil earlier. Don't say shit, kids. But it's a good pencil. I had fun using it. I had fun drawing it. It feels so nice in my hand. And it gave me some really nice results. Like, this is all just straight down pencil sketch. Didn't really refine it. There's so much sketchiness to it. But I loved it. And it worked with the kind of atmosphere of this drawing. Love the paints. Paints are gorgeous. This paper is absolutely so nice. Um, the, poor, the poor acrylic paint pen, though, didn't really get used too much. I kind of went in with it using this to refine a few things. Adding a few little shadows in here, here and there. But really, I mainly concentrate on these paints and on that pencil. And you know what? This was a great experience, I have to say. I really enjoyed myself. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to watch more of my videos, you can, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or just check out my channel and just, like, watch a few things. Either or is cool. You know, that's cool. And if you want to check out me other places, me other arts my webcomic, my Patreon, they're all uh, linked down below. If you like my art and you want to support me, do check out that Patreon. I release a lot of content for my patrons that other people don't see. They get videos, they get pages before, like fake pages before other people. Uh, artwork, behind the scenes artwork, concept art, scripts, so on and so forth. And so I'm going to leave you. I'm going to say goodbye and I had fun. I had fun. So I hope you had fun. So goodbye. Good day. Live a nice long life. Okay. Bye. Leave. Bye. Bye. Hers.